Well, to tell us more about the situation in Greece, let's speak to Yanis Koutsoumidis. He is an analyst out of Athens. Thanks so much for joining us. First, tell me what you envision as the Thank outcome in this election and how will it bode for Greece's economic reform program going forward? Well, uh, we have uh, the two main parties uh, fighting for the first place because uh, according to the Greek electoral law, the first party gets a bonus of 50 seats. So uh, if uh, one of two, the two parties comes first even with a fraction or 0 0.1 point, they get 50 seats more and they get to form the new coalition government because it's almost certain that there will not be an absolute majority either for Syriza or for ND, uh, whoever comes first. So the new Prime Minister will have to be either Mr. Tsipras or Mr. May Marakis of the Conservative Party who will try to forge a coalition a, a government with the other pro-European smaller parties. Now what about the economic reform package? What do you see going forward however this, uh, this election yes. turns out and whatever coalition it's is hobbled together? Yes. It's, uh, it's a very tough uh, two months ahead for any government because many dozens of new reforms need to be implemented and passed by the parliament. Uh, both parties, uh, New D and uh, ND and Syriza, are supporting the bailout agreement, but the Syriza is more critical of some aspects of the bailout regarding the uh, labor reform and privatizations. So we have to see how the new coalition government would look like if it will have, Syriza will have another coalition with the independent Greeks or it will have a new coalition with the former socialists of PASOK or the centrists of Potami. On the other hand, ND is more keen having a broader coalition even with Syriza in the new government and the other pro-European parties. In any case, it will be a very tough uh, next two months for Greece, especially since Greek banks need to recapitalize, to be recapitalized until the end of the year in order for uh, depositors to not be bailed in. Okay. and also for many, many dozens of reforms to pass through Parliament. Now, in certain areas of Greece, as you know, the migrant refugee crisis is arguably of greater concern than the economy right now. But how much of a factor is managing the refugee crisis nationwide? Well, uh, it's, it's a really serious problem, but it's not the major problem right now for the Greek electorate or the Greek parties. It is a common belief here that the, the solution to the refugee crisis will have to come through Europe and the European Union. Uh, in three days on Wednesday, there is a European summit. The Greek president will be there and uh, there will have to be a solution of how to deal with this tremendous problem which is affecting the islands of the Aegean, the Greek islands and also mainland. But it's not number one priority for the political parties and the Greek electorate right now. Okay. Yanis Kusumitis, thank you so much for joining us live from Athens.